All right, hello, and welcome or welcome back to another episode of What Do We Need to Know in Love? What do you need to know in your love situation right now in this moment in time? My name is Brandon Tobias. It's so great to have you here. Um, whether you're tuning in about your soulmate situation, twin flame situation, twin soul situation, divine, whatever you call it, your love situation. And the messages I want to channel for you right now are what you need to know for the highest possible good. And they are channeled from source, who I refer to as God, the energy or consciousness consciousness of the universe, as well as your angels and your guides, all through unconditional love. So this could also apply, one more, more disclaimer, if you are already in a relationship with your person now and you want to strengthen the bond and relationship and get clarity from how to navigate your current relationship, this reading's also for you. And also whether you're separated from your person, whether you don't know who your person is and you want messages from and about them, uh, from God, from your angels, this reading is for you you. So without, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. If you want to go deeper with me after this reading, you can go deeper in the description box below, where if you are in a current twin soul situation, and you want specific clarity about your person and what they want to share with you, how they feel towards you, and additional details only allowed for the extended reading, that will be in the description box below and or the featured products in this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. God, angels, and the collective guides here now who serve unconditional love and light and the love collective here on earth coming together for the highest and greatest good in this moment in time. God, what is it you want the viewer here now to know in and about their current love and life situation? Channel for the highest possible good and through unconditional love and light. Okay. Now, the first thing... Getting into your specific, in this moment in time, okay, this is going to be directly applicable. I'm channeling for the, the audience watching. That's how my energy works. It reaches out. Whoever is going to watch this video, this message is designated for you, okay? So just take it as it resonates, of course. But you're in a love situation where God is testing your ability to take a leap of faith. And that leap of faith, the full card here, is basically telling you, you are meant to be right now in the unknown when it comes to the outcome of your current love situation. So you may be facing a little bit of instability. If we look at the details of the full card here on the edge of the cliff, maybe it feels like a little bit of those rocks behind you are crumbling or the foundation of, of the con connection or relationship or current circumstances in your love situation are a little bit unstable or wishy-washy or uncertain, right? There's some uncertainty I'm picking up in your current love situation in this moment in time. And yet God is saying for you to keep going. God is saying in this moment in time to you in your belly and your soul and through me, please keep going. I need you to believe. I need you to trust. I need you to keep taking those steps forward, okay? Even if you have to take a step back every once in a while, two steps forward, one step back, three steps forward, one step back, and keep on going. Now, there's a little dog in the picture here. I never noticed this little cute little wolf dog in the back. Um, but what it signifies to me is that, you know, you're going to have to become a new person in your love and life situation right now. Okay, In this moment, what you're facing, you're going to have to become a new version of you and you're going to have to leave some old parts of you behind, okay? And this could also represent friends and family and close people to you in your life that you don't want to leave behind, that is uncomfortable for you to say no to or to leave, leave behind or to, you know, say goodbye to, okay? Because this is a journey God wants to tell you. Your love situation, your love journey is for you. Okay, this is a direct channel message to you. Your love situation is only for you. I have designated this love for you. Not for your family, not for your friends, not for social media, not for anyone or anything else, but you. And if you try to bring other people and circumstances and things and this for old friends and family and 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 co work it's like, don't do that, okay? They're just going to slow it down. Okay, those of you who are wondering right now, how can I speed up the progression of my love situation, my soulmate, my twin soul, my twin flame, whatever it is you refer to it. I don't believe in the twin flame connection, by the way. So there's a video I made on that, but I'm just saying some of you refer to that as a term. Okay, how do I speed that connection up? My how do I speed up the connection of me marrying the person God wants to marry? That's to be put it very simple. 
And the direct answer is right now by move, continuing to move forward in your own way, in the way that this love situation is causing you to have to move forward in, which is very unknown, very uncertain, very scary, maybe mostly based off your intuition. The fool here is just using their their intuition. This is Aries energy, by the way. So this is just, okay, it's, it's what I feel is right. Let's go for it. <laughs> I don't have any proof. I don't it doesn't make logical sense all the time, right? But I'm moving forward anyways and not everyone can do that. Okay? Not everyone can do that. That's a very important point. Not everyone's meant to do that in your life. You may you may want that to happen. You may say, "Hey, friend of mine, family member of mine, coworker, whatever it is, person of mine, come along with me." Let me let me bring you along on this journey. And they just they just can't. They won't. Because why? They're not meant to. Okay? And that's a, that's a very particular lesson that you watching that I'm channeling for you right now are learning. Okay? That you cannot be afraid anymore to go your own way. You cannot base your decisions and your choices in life based on the will of others and the preferences of others. It's not going to work anymore. Okay. I hate to be the bearer of, of, of hard news. This is Saturn energy. My North node is in Capricorn for God's sakes. So I have to deliver Saturn energy sometimes, but it's just not going to work anymore. Okay. If you try to keep doing that, something's going to break. Okay. Direct channel message. If you try to keep bringing other people along into your path, your life situation, your love situation, and bring them along for the journey and try to wrangle them over with, hey, it's trust me, it's a good, it's a good idea to keep. You're gonna, you're both are gonna fall off the ledge. Okay, you're both, all both, whoever you and you're trying to bring, the the rock's gonna crumble and you're both gonna fall flat on your face in the water. Okay. This is a journey for one, you, all right? And the sooner that you internalize that, the sooner that you accept that, the faster this love situation is going to progress together. The faster that God's love situation for you is going to progress together, or if you're already in your connection, elevate to the next level, okay? Some of you, this is going to apply to you in a relationship. You're in a relationship, but you know, you're bringing other people into it. You know, you're bringing family, you're bringing friends, you're, you're trying to bring your people into it. And it's like, it just doesn't belong. Right. It's, it's, it's that type of connection where it's just that it's, and it's uncomfortable. Right. But it's like this relationship's going a different direction. It's, it's pulling you into a different direction than you've ever been, or you've ever wanted, or you've ever intended in your life. And that is a jurisdiction that is outside of the boundaries or limits of the other people that you may be familiar with, right? And comfortable with and acquainted with in your life right now. And um, only certain people are meant to choose that and do that. And if you're watching this video, you are one of them. And we want you to stop doubting that. That's what the guides and angels are saying. We want you to stop doubting that anymore. Okay, really, you've you've come this far. They're saying you've come this far in this love journey, and still you doubt. Still, you have doubts about whether or not you should be alone in your leap of faith towards God's union for you. Let this clear up any doubt or confusion. Okay, it is meant for you. That is what this journey is, and that. That in itself, that decision, that clarity will clear up any confusion that you have in this moment in time, because it's not coming from you. It's coming from other people and other sources of energy around you. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Sun. Some of you are going through, uh, it looks like, a bit of a, an internal battle When it comes to your, your self-worthiness related to success and happiness in this lifetime, 
Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. It's almost like you are your soul and your body and your human self wants to receive so much, has so much that the world is offering you to to give to you that you're here to receive because of because you're amazing. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. But you don't feel like you're amazing. You don't accept how amazing you are. And yes, I'm talking to you, not about your person. You don't fully accept how incredible you are. And therefore, you doubt. Five of Wands here, Six of Wands. I see it very clearly. No hiding from the channeler of God and the angels, okay? <laughs> you doubt that you're worthy of receiving the happiness and the success that awaits you in this lifetime. And God is literally saying through me, saying, I have so much, so much to give you. Whether it's money, well-being, comfort, security, luxury. If for some of you, fame, if you want that. Okay, it's going to be different for all of you. But I have so much that I want to give to you. God is saying right now, so much. And you, you continue to fight me on that. You continue to doubt that you are really, really worthy of receiving all of the success that I see for you in this lifetime. Okay? Whether that's in love itself, like having the relationship of your dreams, or generally speaking, the success. And when I say success, I just mean feeling, f feeling fully worthy and aligned in your life and love purpose. And feeling happy and feeling fulfilled with that, okay? I want you to focus on the feeling of inner fulfillment. Because success can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. We all have different north nodes in astrology. We all have, we all have destinies, right? But the definition of success that we're using here, that we're channeling here, is just do you feel both worthy and fulfilled within yourself for what you are and what you have accomplished in this lifetime? Not what you thought you were going to do, or not what you have said you were going to do, but do you now feel worthy for what you are and what you have already accomplished in this lifetime? And what you will continue to accomplish in this lifetime for your highest possible path? I'm here to tell you, dear viewer, that feeling starts right now. It doesn't start tomorrow. It doesn't start in a week from now when you've accomplished something different or you've made a certain amount of money or you've got that job or you've got that. It doesn't start then. It starts now. Every single one of you watching has something that you are to be proud of, that you in your energetic greatness have done and, and has caused you to be worthy to receive all of the gifts that God has for you in this lifetime right now. And God is calling on you to recognize that within your soul, to recognize that within your, yourself, and to open yourself to receive it. Open the doorway for you to receive, dear viewer. Because there is so much waiting to come through that door. You have no idea. You have no idea. I want to pause and give a personal example because people... Particularly during these readings, when I really, I'm, I am channeling, right? This is this is Brandon delivering the message, but I'm channeling the messages, right? So these aren't necessarily coming from my mind; they're coming from they're coming through me, not from me. If that makes sense. So I want to pause and give a bit of an example and a personal testimony because I am living proof right now I, that <laughs> so long as you feel good within yourself and worthy within yourself, that God will literally send you everything you could possibly hope for, want, and need in this lifetime instantaneously the minute that you allow it to happen for you. And God will move the chess pieces all around for you. You don't even have to do anything. You don't even have to do a thing. Okay? And you will know when you need to do something. But other than that, you don't need to do a thing. As long as you know that within yourself 
and you have that feeling of, you know what? I do. I do deserve it for who and what I am right now. And I'm happy with what I am right now and what I've accomplished and what I've given to people. You're going to receive even more of that and you're going to get more opportunities to have even more of that right now. Okay. And the choice I'll, I'll pose to you right now is that is, are you willing in this moment in time to accept that truth? Maybe you didn't see it before, but are you willing to see that now? And if you don't see it now, are you willing to look for that? Why you are worthy to receive exactly what you're here to receive in this lifetime. I promise you there's a reason if you're open to finding it. And once you find it, nothing will stop all the things that God wants to flood into your life at this moment in time and in the ongoing future. Because I see, it's almost like for you watching, we're going to take a look here at the presentation of the tarot. Okay, those of you who don't know, I, I look at the tarot not as I'm reading the cards and those, those are the message. No, the messages come from God and the angels, right? But the tarot is a presentation to help the, the messages be delivered with a visual representation. So what I see here is those of you, the reason you doubt that, is because the circumstances in your life have not, for you, the perception for you is that they have not gone in alignment with what you've wanted. Either when it comes to, it could be money, it could be relationship, it could be career success, it could be family relationships, it could be a number of things, it could be your own self-definition. But whenever you've really wanted something, I can see here, this is, this is the real wound here, is around wanting something, yeah? I can feel it right here in your belly, those of you watching. It's like, I've really wanted that, and it just didn't happen. It hasn't happened. It's not happening, right? I don't think it's ever going to happen, God. <laughs> Why are you holding this back from me? And God is saying, past circumstances and past events do not, do not dictate your future reality. I'll repeat, past events and past circumstances in your life do not and never will dictate your future reality. And if you're watching this, we know, we can see, we can feel, all of us, guides and angels watching, and God can see. Remember, there's no hiding. That you've been hit with a lot of disappointments when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to when it's come to your success, when it's come to your well-being, when it's come to maybe your health, when it's come to a lot of things that you were hoping and wanting to do, be, or accomplish, or have, and every single time has led to, in your perception, a failure. But I want to tell you that each one of those failures has made you into the badass warrior that you are today. Because where has it all led to? Where has all of your failures, dear viewer, led to? Strength car with the death, strong death moments. I want to kill myself. We're going to get demonetized from YouTube probably. I don't care. Because some of you, that's been a thing. Right? There wouldn't be strength with death with the five of cups here if that hasn't come up in your life at some point for some of you or if not most of you. Shoot, for me, it's come up. There's been times I'll be vulnerable, but look at who and what God is saying you have become as a result of that. Every single failure and every single destruction and every single collapse of the bridge that you were creating in your life to go and be a, and do a certain thing has led to you being a badass. And a warrior and a resilient, I, could, I would cuss up a storm here, but one resilient son of a gun. Okay? Person. A leader. And the reason you are watching this video, and if you've made it this far, you are a leader. 
those of you who were watching who were not meant to see this have already clicked off at this point. I look at my YouTube analytics and I go, oh, the average view duration is like 11 minutes on a 40 minute video. It's like, that's just people that weren't meant to see this message because there are very specific messages here, right? Not everyone's gone through what you've gone through. Those of you I'm talking to, but those things, those collapses, those failures in love, in relationships, in jobs, business, careers, in life, in health, wealth, all the areas, health, wealth, relationships have caused you to be the leader you are today. And you would not be who you are now without them. And you would not be able to help the people you are here to help without those failures. Because who wants to listen to a leader without the experience? Right? Who wants to listen to a leader without the experience of going through what the people you're here to lead are going through? Right? And it's all the things that you have had disappointments and failures with in the past. I promise you the exact areas in your life where you've had those disappointing moments, those disappointing times where you will say to the people you're here to lead, hey, it's okay. I've been there too. I've been at that dead end job where I hated my life, hated my soul, didn't want to exist anymore because I didn't think life was going to get any better. I've been in a place where I've had negative hundreds of dollars and continued overdraft fees because the banks want even more money for some reason after you have no money. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> right? I can remember a time in my Bank of America account. Oh, it's like I, I opened it and it's like there's like seven overdraft fees because it's like they don't. It's a whole thing, right? But my point is, that's a real life story, by the way. <laughs> my point is, right? And you're going to say, I've been there. I've been through those multiple failed relationships. And I've come out stronger and I've identified, oh, this is what I need. This is what I want. And this is who and what I want now moving forward. So every single failure has caused you to create more and be more aligned in your life in ways that you can't even understand right now or realize. And God wants to bring that to your attention right now because all of that has already happened to you watching. Most of you, actually all of you watching, I would say this, it feels like this stuff has already happened. Okay, It's in the past. It's still with you. It's still a part of you. But it's a part of you for a good reason it's because it's here to help you be the leader that you are. But God is asking all of you now, all of your failures, all of your disappointments, all of the parts of you, that version of you, to be willing to take the greatest leap of faith in your life to date. In and despite all of the failures and disappointments that we've just talked about. And guess what? He wants you to take that leap of faith particularly, specifically in the area of life right now where you have had and maybe continue to have the most dramatic letdowns and failures. That is what we mean when we say leap of faith. And that is why it might be, feel scary because you are going to be going into the unknown and not just the unknown, but the unknown where the background is in the past, you have had dramatic and perhaps multiple failures in that particular area. And I'll let you identify where that is for you, dear viewer. Hermit card with the Eight of Wands, King of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. And right now, if you are, or even if you are in a relationship right now, but if you are in a if you found your place yourself in a place where you feel alone where God has left you a little bit isolated a little bit you feel like you're left off in the corner here right hermit card in the in the, in the bottom left hand corner right kind of just alone or isolated there's no one around that can really understand or resonate with what I'm going through maybe you feel like you've had to isolate yourself to continue to go through this journey 
And you're in this period of self-reflection where you're realizing, <laughs> you're realizing just how amazing and just how incredible the gifts that you have are for the world. And what a privilege it is for you to be able to give those particular gifts to the world. And God is saying he needed you, dear viewer. And again, whether, even if you are in a relationship, right? And you might feel a little bit like you need some of your own time or you're going through your own individual process within that relationship. And that's great too. But God is saying right now, he's put you into this space of a little bit of isolation so that you can catalyze your belief and your ability to know how amazing it is the abilities and the gifts that you have to give to the world and not to take for granted all that you are anymore. Because here's the real truth that will blow your mind. It is the failures. It is the disappointments. It is the lack that you've had in your past and maybe in your present that make you the most amazing. That make what you have to give worth giving. That give depth and create the unique version of who and what you are today and make the gifts that you have to share the most valuable. It is those same very failures that you have in your life that you've gone through that haunt you, that have haunted you, hopefully up until this moment in time, that make what you have to share with the world that much more amazing. And we want you to stop looking at all of your failures and all of your letdowns and all of your disappointments as that. And we want you to start looking at those things as assets, as gifts that make what you have to share with the world even more valuable and create the opportunity for you to be of service to the world and to yourself now, today, and in this moment. Your failures were not for you. Your failures were for the people that you're here to serve. Never forget that. Eight of Swords, Page of Cups with the King of Wands. Some of you have been robbed <laughs> and let down, you feel. Maybe by certain people in your life, King of Wands, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, you didn't realize maybe you were backstabbed in the back. Maybe you were betray betrayed by certain people in your life. Maybe you've had other people lie to you or influence you in a way that was disingenuous or out of selfish interests that they may have had in your life. This could be, take it as it resonates, friends, family, co-workers, ex-partners, take it as it resonates. People that you once thought very highly of or you had a very good relationship with who stabbed you in the back, betrayed you, and let you down. And at this point in time, you might say, how can I trust anyone who says that they have my back, who says that they want the best for me, who says that they want to see me shine and be the best that I could be, but really they're just in it for their own self-interests. Because I've realized that now the veil has been lifted. We talked about in the astrology reading, if you've seen it, it's a good one. You can go check it out. Pluto with Saturn retrograde and Neptune retrograde. The veil has been lifted. People who are not really genuinely for you because it was more for them for the, for, than for you and that but they were acting supportive of you that shit has been lifted okay so how how can you even trust that what i'm saying to you for god's sakes i mean i kind of look like this king of wands dude right <laughs> <laughs> how can you even trust that what i'm saying is true for you and genuine for you and the answer is that your heart 
Keep your heart safe. Safeguard your heart. Yes, that's smart. Do it. However, also know and trust that your heart knows when to lift those same gates. Because if your heart's guarded, that's not always a bad thing. Absolutely not a bad thing. However, the problem is when our heart and those gates are ready to be lifted, but we refuse to lift them because we're scared, rightfully so, because we've been hurt and we've been betrayed, we've been backstabbed, we've been deceived by someone very close in our life. This is someone that maybe could be recently, could not be so recently, but very who's been close to us, you know, we trusted a lot. And this is this eight of swords is kind of like this guarded heart, right? Like, well, how can I really trust? Well, trust me when I say, if your heart wants to lift those gates back up for any possible reason, your heart will know when to do that. And your heart will know who to do that for, most importantly. And it won't lift those gates unless it's the right person. It won't lift those gates back up, trust me. God, God is saying it won't lift those gates back up unless there's a darn good reason to lift those gates back up. And if your heart isn't lifting those gates back up, don't force it. But if it is, let, let it in. This message, if this message wants to lift the gates from your heart, let, let it in. Because it's not coming from me. It's you. I'm a reflection. I'm, I'm a channeler. Channelers, we're reflecting you, watching. Whoever you are, God bless you. This is for you. Okay? Not for me. Not for anyone. Not just for you. Because that's how you know, if you're asking. That's how you know when it's time to lift those guards back up, those gates back up. And if that time is not here yet, it's okay. But you will know when it is time. We're going to start to close out this reading. And as mentioned, if you want to go deeper with me, there will be an extended reading that goes into if you are in a situation with your twin soul, your soulmate, your person, or you're in a relationship or you're not together, but you want to get your person's perspective or messages to you, their current up-to-date uh, circumstances, how they feel towards you, etc., channeled, that would be an extended reading. But let me get a few additional messages for whatever needs to be known today, God, for the highest possible good. Let me clarify this Five of Cups right here in the center for everyone watching. Yeah. <laughs> you know, those of you watching, it's so interesting. It's like the Six of Swords here, Page of Pentacles and Chariot. It's almost like you feel un like you have to apologize, right? You have to apologize or you, or you have to be regretful or shameful for like moving forward, like taking charge in your life and going, no, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to be this, have this, achieve this, right? In whatever area that applies to you. But there's shame there. There's some level of, ah, uh, you know, I don't want to leave too many people behind or what would happen to them if I were to do this or what would they say or how would they feel if I took the reins in my own life and you feel like you have to apologize for that or you, f or you feel like you have to apologize if you have to leave someone behind, don't apologize. Be thankful. Be thankful for the opportunity that one, you got to experience whatever it is and whoever it is you got to experience life with and also the gift that you're going to give to that person by setting them on their path. This is generally speaking. It's not talking about anything or anyone in particular, but it's just, you don't have to apologize, right? You don't have to apologize for, for, for going your own way. And I, that's the most important message in this whole reading is you, whether it's in love or in life or whatever area of life, you do not have to apologize ever to anyone for taking the reins, going your, choosing your own path, going down it, whether or not you leave other people behind, it's part of the process. Saturn is here, right? It's part of the process. It's part of the healing. It's part of the experience for them and for you. So don't hold back. And if there's something you need to do, dear viewer, 
And I know you know who you are if you're watching. This is not to anyone in particular, just to whoever it is that you know you need to do something, but you're afraid to do it or you feel apologetic for doing it or you, you'd have to leave something or someone behind that you don't want to leave behind or you'd feel bad to do. Just take the reins and do it already. Don't, don't, don't keep, don't keep just, you know, letting it fester, <laughs> you know, just say, I gotta go. I gotta do this. Aries North node. Okay. I gotta go. I love you, but I gotta go. Okay. Do it. All right. Whatever that is for you, dear viewer, that is watching. Final three of this particular Reading, it's very, I mean, it's a very forward reading. It's a very straightforward reading, right? Full card chariot here. Um, because <laughs> that's what's missing, right? It's that unapologeticness. That's what's missing here. It's that boldness. That's the, that's the common wound here in the collective. Final three of this particular reading. Thank you so much, God, for a very blessed reading. Hangman, King of Swords, and Lovers. Okay. Now, when it comes to love and your love situation, we are going to go deeper in the extended when it comes to those of you who are maybe, you know, in a twin soul situation, a soulmate situation. All the rest of this was applied to, can be applied to really many different situations. It doesn't even have to be just love, right? But um, when it comes to love, when it comes to uniting with your person, the message here for you from God is to really hang in there. Literally, hangman here, king of swords, stay focused on it. Don't let it, don't, don't allow your focus to be deterred from your love. Okay. Don't allow it. Don't listen to other people who say, well, you should be focusing on this more than, and, and, and just ignore it or forget about it or this or that. It's like, don't do that. I, I'm going to say this. And, um, this is the truth because I've been through it. <laughs> All right. Even if something is not the right situation for you. Okay. Let's say a person you're like, uh, you, you watch this reading. You're like, okay, is he talking about this person? Like, I think that's the one. Um, and for those of you who really want to go deeper and find out, you can do a personal reading with me. That's the only surefire hundred percent way that I can confirm whether the person that we're going to be talking about here is for you. Um, you can check the description box for that for below, but you, you don't have to get one if you don't, you don't need one. But anyways, even if it is the wrong person, which for the majority of you, it's not. If you focus on it exclusively, because that is where your soul wants you to focus on, that's what and where your soul is pulling you to focus on. If it is the wrong, and you allow God into the connection, right? If it is not the right person for you, it will dissolve itself. I promise you. Okay. It will be made very clear. It will be made very tangible. Okay, it will be made very obvious that this person is or is not for you, so long as you allow your soul to focus on it. Hangman, king of swords, lovers. Okay, so if it is the wrong person and you focus on that energy within your soul, it will dissolve itself. It will not even, whatever lesson you need to learn, it'll, you'll learn it and then it'll completely dissolve itself. Take it from experience. Okay. <laughs> Who's been through multiple me, multiple iterations of spiritual connections. I understand if it is the true thing and you focus on it as that's what your soul wants you to do, it will grow. Okay. It will become stronger. It will unite you with God. It will lead you to success in every area of your life because it is God's relationship for you. And God is saying love on earth right now is leading the charge. Okay. So you cannot go wrong right now by allowing yourself to focus in and not lose sight of, not lose track of the love or the person that you feel is the one. That's another channel message. If it's the person, don't lose sight of the person. Don't get distracted. If they're the wrong one, that will be revealed to you. I promise. If they're the right one, it will be revealed to you. And if they are the right one, then you too can only help each other be more of yourselves and more successful and more aligned and happy and fulfilled in this lifetime. That's my promise to you. That's why focusing on love is not a bad thing. And sometimes you need to focus a little bit on love 
over other things like work or career and things like that that are still very important or money. Okay. Sometimes that has to, the love part has to come first to inspire all of the other areas of your life. Right? Okay. Take it from someone who has that experience <laughs> and literally channels about love for a living, right? Something I never thought that I would be doing, but I am doing here today. Final message of this. So don't lose sight of that person. Don't lose sight of your love situation. It can only lead you home if it's the right one. Okay. Final three of this particular reading, and then we will close out. Moon card, two of pentacles, two of swords. Recognize what is in this moment in time. Recognize if you're having conflict or you're unsure or you're going through doubt, right? And many of you are at this time. It's a very, you know, appropriate time with the planets the way they are for, to be going through that. Recognize that. Recognize where choice is an illusion. <laughs> Recognize where your choice, what you have to decide or what you have to choose is just an illusion. And what do I mean by that? I mean that the truth, you know, to the, the real truth of what you what is true and what you want and what's for you and what's not for you, that's already in you. That's already been decided by not even you, your higher self and by God. So you going through this dilemma of, oh my God, I have to choose. I have to decide. I have to do this. It's like, it's already chosen. <laughs> you understand? Sometimes we get in our own way and we say, oh, you know, with our free will, I have to really choose with my mind what is best. And it's like, you don't realize, you just don't realize it's already done. It's already, the, the, the truth is already inside. <laughs> there is no choice to make. The choice is already done. It's just you coming to the realization that it's there, right? Through continued hangman, king of swords, introspection and focus on the self and the and the, the truth inside. Okay? So don't, as you watch this reading and we close out, don't let any sense of this delusional, what do I do? Should I choose this or choose that? Where should I go? It's like, you're not in charge here. You're not. None of us are. Really. We're in charge to a certain degree. But sometimes things that are made for us and meant for us, they weren't meant to be chosen or decided because they're already chosen. They were already decided. They're just meant to be aligned with. Okay. And that's for specifically those of you who are struggling and who are asking those questions, who, who haven't, who hasn't found the inner peace and the solidity inside of you to like, just let your life move forward, right? Recognize where you're making a choice when there is none. When you're trying to decide when the decision has already been made. Thank you all so much for watching this wonderful channel reading. Thank you, God and guides and angels, for this incredible reading. It's an honor and a blessing for me as a channeler to have the privilege of sharing this gift with you all. Now, I will be going deeper, as promised, in the extended reading. And this is going to be juicy, specific details in around your person, either the person you're with in a relationship right now, or you're separated, or you don't know who that person is, but you want to hear from them and from God's voice about what they have to say to you. That reading is going to be for you. Check out the description box below or the featured products. If you want to go deeper with me personally and get a personal reading, uh, astrology or tarot or channel audio message, you can check my website in the description box below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already joined this amazing channel. It's awesome. <laughs> be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button and feel free to leave your comments, <laughs> your experience in the comments below. I love you all. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the extended on the next one. Bye for now.